All right, I think it's time to flip this hay over so that we might ought have a chance of it drying. It was doing real good, and then the other night it got rained on. Surprise, which we didn't know was coming. So I think that kind of delayed it a day. It rained just enough for about 15 minutes. But I think if we flip it by this afternoon, it'll be able to, to be bailed. So that's what we'll do right after this. Welcome back. If you haven't seen my videos before, I'm Ross the Oliver Man. Let me introduce you to today's cast of characters here. I thought it would be fun that we might play with all of our toys. So we have little Freddy over here, the 1450, hooked to the 105 rake. We have a 60 hooked to a number two rake. We have a 66 hooked to a 107 rake. And a Super 66 hooked to a 207 rake. And then we also have the 770 hooked to the 520 baler. So we'll get to try that out and see how it's going to go. Now, typically, the only rake I ever had was this. <laughs> and I've used it a bunch, so I know it works. The 105 we tried out last year, we know it works. I have never raked with that number two, and I've never raked with that 207. We fixed it last year. Afterwards, it had a bearing out of it. So, dealer's choice, friends. I think we'll start oldest to newest. This is kind of how I got it worked in my mind. So we'll start with the 60 and the number two rake. So hopefully it will start right up and run. You know, I drove it out here with no problem. But we know how it goes, you know. Sometimes it doesn't, uh, stuff doesn't want to play ball. Nice. I got that all greased up, uh, all the tires aired up. I think the only thing that has a tire that we're gonna have to air up is this. That tire goes down really quick for some reason. Otherwise, everything else should be good to go. This one was down, but I think it'll rake. Let's see what happens. I don't even know what gear to go in. Quiet rake. Just a little there. Oh well.
well that's the first time that thing's raked in probably 30 years i would bet i've owned it for probably i don't know how long 10 or more and this is the first time i've raked with it so pretty cool it's uh quiet and it does a good job it's kind of it turns different on the corners but i kind of like it i mean good old rake it's just a shame that i'm sure that there's not parts readily available like those style teeth and things or i would consider using it more often but yeah so now let's switch to i suppose freddy and the 107 rake and we'll make a lap with it and then at the end we'll compare and we'll pick one to settle in for the day and rake the rest of the stuff but let's switch to freddy i need to air up that tire first so i'll do that real quick and then we'll be on our way all right freddy
Well, I don't know if I would pick the 105 rake as the top rake, but definitely Freddy is the winner, and we haven't even done the other two tractors. I love driving Freddy. That is the perfect size for hay. I mean, it feels like you got power, but it's still a utility size tractor, so that's pretty sweet. So now I suppose we will go on to 66 and the 107 rake. Consequently, this will be the first time out for the 66 after our uh, repair we did last year on the head. Yeah, all right. I'm glad the birds like to crap on everything, but such is life. should bounce into gear. I've never had trouble with this before. There we go. The tractor's definitely better than it was before, but it's still running a little hotter than I'd like, so I don't know. We'll have to sort that out, but it does work. The old 107 rake does a good job. There's a little bit of moisture in that yet, but I would say, you know, a few hours out here in the sun like this and it'll be ready to go. But let's go on to our final rake. Super 66 and a 207 rake. Both things which have not really been used much around here. The rake has never been used because it had a bearing out of it. All right, let's see what happens here. Probably gonna jump this one. I bet it won't. Yeah, that stupid switch. They're junk. Ah. All right.
Well, all right, friends, there you have it. Four different Oliver rakes behind four different tractors. And they each did a commendable job, I think. I'm really impressed with this number two rake. I thought it did a really nice job of picking things up. Don't look at that, that extra along the edge. But uh, yeah, you can see it left the ground clean. 107 rake in this grass hay. It doesn't always get every single piece, but that's okay. Also, I'd say adjusting your speed would have something to do with it. 107 rake, tried and true, works pretty good. Uh, you know, straight axle rake though, that's something to consider in different types of uh, heavy crop situation. That may not be the thing to use. 207 did a good job. Uh, this stuff is really, even though it's kind of green, it's, it's uh, fairly dry and if you drive too fast, it wants to launch the dry stuff out of the thing, out of the windrow there, like it did here. It kind of just kicks it out too fast, so you got to watch how fast you go. But other than that, pretty sweet. And there's not too many places in the United States where you could go and see four different models of Oliver Rake working at the same time. I know a guy in Iowa who's got a good collection of rakes, but I don't think he has a 105. So I might have misspoke and called that a 107 earlier, but it's a 105. But yeah, number two, 105, 107, 207. All out here getting the job done. So I'm gonna have to pick one now and just keep going and get the rest of this done. And hopefully, you know, towards evening, we can bail, maybe tomorrow. I don't know. It's not, it would probably, it would bail right now, but it's still a little bit green in places. And some of it's real heavy in ditches and stuff. So I don't know. We'll get it raked and by then it should probably be ready to go. But I hope this was a good video. I was excited about making it. Uh, it takes a little bit to get four different things ready to go, but I think that uh, it was pretty neat to see all four of them. So, yeah. As always, if you enjoy my videos, give them a thumbs up. That helps out the channel and it doesn't cost you anything. Leave a comment. Tell me that you liked it or tell me that you hated it. Tell me I'm a moron. I really don't care, but anything that you say helps us out too. So thank you again, as always, for watching, and I will see you in the next one.